if you start with Sherlock, Sherlock's got a really nice kind of oval head. He's more, slightly more human proportions than, say, Nomeo would be, or, uh, or Juliet. So start off with a big, nice, with the nice shapes, and of course we've got a nice high collar, just like Watson. So what you can do is you, I would draw the proportions. So you've got, you know, proportion for the hat, which is the deer stalker uh, gnome hat, placement of the ear, jawline. That can all be adjusted later. So I could actually work out from there. I know where to put the center, put the center line for the face, which will then give us all of the anchor points for uh, the features. So if I then put that on there, that's a little bit of a, the brim of the hat. That then like, ties in, the brim of the hat is important in that it helps his expression. Sure looks kind of handsome and he's got also inquisitive expression, which means the eyebrows are often in natural position. So we put this in, the, the deerstalker brim, this kind of helps that. So I would know that that line is the center line of the face. Right, so then you can say, well, I know where the, where the forehead is and I know where the eyebrows will go. Now I can put placement of the eyes in. And then all important is you can then say, well, I know now where the nose is gonna go because this whole line, the whole profile is based around where that anchor point of the nose goes. So hey, like that. So the Sherlock is over here. Often it's good to get a, an eye look across a character. So that, that's that way I can say, well, I know where the ear is going to go. And I know how big the ear is in relation to the eyes. So we can then start to work the jawline in and put placement of where his sideburns are. Sideburns are kind of a, a large detail on his face, but they, they're good because they give feeling the cheekbones and they also are there to frame the eyes. Sure, it's got quite a small, you know, in re relaxed pose, it's got quite a small mouth because it's, it just kind of suits the whole line of the face a bit better. So anchor point of the neck, the neck will go up there. It's quite athletic and, uh, and fit, so that way we can draw the chest sticking out a little bit. Center line again for, the, for where the waistcoat would be. Gives us a good anchor point to put the bow tie. Scribble that in there for the minute. Now Sherlock has got a little uh, gnome beard, which is kind of, a, we've used it to kind of give him a bit of a chin. Because even though he's got a big kind of jaw, because he's a handsome leading man, we actually needed to have a little gnome beard. Lock in a few more of the forms. Point on the known hat. Now the interesting thing with Sherlock is that he, in his ears, you've got obviously two ears on both sides of his head. And Sherlock, you've got an S on one side, hidden S, and on the other side, because it's a uh, reverse, you've got a question mark. Put the checker work on, which would be brush strokes. 